Because uh, I'm in gamer mode today, so what we're going to do first is you're going to be having your name, your first name, your first English name, and if your name is William, you could just choose Will, W-I-L-L. -L. Uh, you can use a shorter abbreviation so that you don't have to do as much work. So when you click on your letter, okay, it's going to go to... Uh, it's going to do something, right? It's going to be something creative when you click on the letter of your name. So this is in tutorials, and we are in animated name. So I'll go ahead and start. So the first thing you're going to do is pick a letter, okay? And then the letters you can get down here. I'm going to scroll all the way down here until I find some letters, and you can choose the type of letters that you want. So I'm going to choose this letter, okay, and so now I have that letter right here. I'm going to click and drag it right into there, okay. So now you see I have my M, and I don't need this guy, so I'm going to trash him, okay. So there's my M. Now, when you click on your letter, See, when the sprite is clicked, then play a sound until it's done. Okay, so I'm going to go in here to events. When the sprite is clicked, make sure you have selected M. Then I'm going to play a sound right here. And you can choose a sound. You could even record your sound um, for that. For example, you could go in here and hit record and allow and hit record M, 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 M. And then you could select. Haha, -ha, yeah, like I'm rapping, yo. So I'm going to, I'm going to click on M, okay? And then I have the recording. It's finished. Yeah, I like that track. Play that track. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my coding, which is here. And now I see recording one. I'm going to choose recording one. So when I click on M, it's saying M, 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 M. All right, so that's my M. Now I'm ready for my next letter, A. So I'm going to scroll down here and choose A. Now you can do all the same letters or you can mix it up. Okay, the different letters. Um, I'm going to choose this one. Okay, and so when the, the A comes out, we're going to change the color. Okay, change the color. So the, when the sprite is clicked, okay, And see, A is what we're working on, so that's how you know what we're doing. Then, I'm going to come in here and change color. There you go, change color effect right here. So here I change this. See that? You can change the color right there. And again, here's where your size is. So if you want it to be bigger, you could type in a bigger size, okay? You could change the direction. So I'm gonna go negative 45. <coughs> and you don't have to have it 90, you could have it like this. Okay, so next I'm gonna choose my R. And next it says, when this sprite is clicked, we are going to be rotating and spinning it. Okay, so we're going to do events. When the sprite is clicked, we're going to repeat 10. So, and turn 15 degrees. Okay, so this would be in motion, turning 15 degrees. And repeat. Remember, we call encoding repeating is loop. Okay. 
So we are going to repeat that like so. I'm going to see here in your control. I'm going to click this so it locks into place. I'm going to take my turn 15 and lock it, kind of like Legos, right? And then I'm going to wait one second. I'm going to put that in right there. So when I click on the R, notice that it rotates. Okay. And you could change this. If you want it to rotate more, you could do that. Okay. And notice it's repeating 10 times. I'm not clicking it. It's just repeating 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there we got a repeat. Okay. And now, lastly, the K. So I'm going to come in here and get my K. Okay. And for the K, we're going to choose right here when the sprite is clicked. Okay. So when the sprite is clicked. And again, we're going to be repeating twice. Okay. So we put in it twice. And instead of 10, we're going to put 15. And we're going to be changing the size. Changing the size. So go for looks, scroll down, change size by 10. And we're going to change size here, but we're going to change this to negative 10. Okay, so I'm going to click on K. So what this first one is, is repeating 15 times, changing it like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then it's going to repeat 15 seconds negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Or 10 times, sorry. So there we go on that one. Okay. So, and again, you can always add things. So I could change a color effect with it. See that? Whoa, so cool. Okay. So you can also add additional things if you want to uh, for that. Okay. So when you are finished um, with it, you can go in and um, add a background. So I'm going to go in the bottom corner, choose a backdrop, and um, let's see. Actually, we did a backdrop last time. How about we choose a color? So choose paint and fill. Yes. And then see in here, you could paint your own backdrop and make your own cool backdrop. Isn't that cool? And you could even paint it a certain color. Okay. So if I want that one, this one, then you can come in here and do that. If you want to list a different color, you could choose your own colors and so on. Okay. So go ahead and create your own style uh, that you want. Okay. Um, whatever it may be. And then when you're finished, go ahead and take a screenshot of your work. And then later when I'm in class, I can see and check your work and you can play it and I can see the animation. Okay.